why can't you hear a pterodactyl when he uses the bathroom? Because the P is silent. Someone say dinosaur? This is IXO requested topic number one. Thanks to Taylor and Capriel for the suggestion. Dinosaurs rocked. They just hung around, eating plants, maybe a few other dinosaurs, just having a yabba dabba doo time. So what exactly is a dinosaur? The word dinosaur comes from the Greek words terrible and lizard. In truth, dinosaurs aren't even actually lizards, and calling them terrible is pretty awful. I mean, you can't just make general claims about a whole super order. I mean, you don't even know them. I'm sure there's a few that are quite friendly. The general definition of a dinosaur is that they possess these three things. Socketed teeth, erect limbs beneath their body, and that they are diapsids, which means that they have two holes in their skull behind their eyes. Within the dinosaur superorder, dinosaurs fall into two suborders, the lizard-hipped Sariscians and the bird-hipped Ornithischians. Dinosaurs were able to come about because some of their ancestors, called archosaurs, were able to survive the Permian-Triassic extinction event 250 million years ago. Archosaurs were then able to evolve towards the end of the Triassic period around 228 million years ago into what we now think of as modern dinosaurs. In the Jurassic period from about 200 to 150 million years ago, dinosaurs were really given the chance to flourish. Dinosaurs existed all over the Earth for 165 million years until the end of the Cretaceous period about 65 million years ago. Let's get into some of my favorite facts and myths about dinosaurs. Number one, despite my joke at the beginning, pterodactyls are not dinosaurs, although they do share the same archosaur ancestor as dinosaurs. In fact, all dinosaurs live on the land. Number two, the brontosaurus is a pretty deceptive lizard. It was only discovered when the paleontologist mistook the skull of a different dinosaur for the skull of this one. They're actually called a patasaurus, which means deceptive lizard. Clever girl. Number three, T-Rexes and Apatosauruses never fought, not because they were good buds that went way back, but because they never existed at the same time. Apatosauruses lived 150 million years ago, while T-Rexes only lived 67 million years ago. This means that modern humans were closer to the T-Rex time period than Apatosauruses were. Number 4. Despite T-Rexes not being able to brush their teeth with their short arms, they still got quite a bit of use out of them. A T-Rex's arm isn't much bigger than a human's, but it's still able to lift over 400 pounds or 180 kilograms each. With that much muscle in each arm, scientists believe that they did have a purpose. It's unclear as to why they were so small, but here's a few theories as to what they were used for. Picking themselves up after a fall, holding on to a prey, holding on to a mate, and holding on to a camera to get a selfie of them sweet guns. The last one's my theory. Number five, most dinosaurs didn't die out at the extinction event at the end of the Cretaceous period. Most were dead before that even happened. Number six, many paleontologists think that most if not all dinosaurs had feathers. This includes raptors and T-Rexes. This theory has a lot of opposition, so we're not 100% on this one. But we do know some dinosaurs did have feathers, such as this Microraptor. And number seven, dinosaurs aren't really extinct. Today's birds are all descendants of dinosaurs. Did you ever wonder why we call certain birds raptors? Aviali, or birds, were the only class of the Maniraptora group to survive the Cretaceous extinction event. So if you're a big fan of dinosaurs, perhaps you should go get yourself a bird. Click this subscribe button to stay up to date with our videos. Click the like button and maybe share if you want to teach your friends a few things about dinosaurs. I'm Luke, and this is IXO. Rawr.